Hey guys, this is Teach Out Productions with a Minecraft tutorial. Um, this is going to teach you how to make two weapons, projectile weapons, that are more advanced than the regular bow and arrow. And so you've probably seen how to make these before, but uh, this one will also explain how they work. So uh, I'm going to create a new world here, and I'm going to name it Machine Gun World. You can use whatever world you want to use. And uh, I'm going to go survival mode because I've got too many items and single player commands. So um, the first weapon we're going to build is a dispenser machine gun. So, uh, oh yeah, if you know why there are two furnaces in here, please tell me. Um, you'll need one dispenser, I'm just going to get a stack of those, and four redstone torches per gun. Or you could just make one redstone pulser go to a bunch of dispensers. You also need a lever. Um, five redstone, I'm just going to get a stack and you'll need a repeater and something to shoot out of the dispenser so in this case arrows so place your dispenser a redstone repeater and redstone oh wait um, you also need two blocks doesn't matter what they are uh, as long as they support redstone I'm just gonna use these two dirts now place them behind this um, redstone and then get your torches and place one on this face one on this face, and then one on each of the opposite faces. So you kind of get it like that, and then place redstone here, 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 and there. And right now, the red you can't hear it right now, but the dispenser is clicking like mad. So then place a lever there, and load it up. It's a lot of arrows. Then, uh, once you hit it, as you can see, it's shooting really quickly. So, um, yeah, it's putting a lot of lead down range, so to speak. And um, as you can see, it's also about as accurate as a shotgun. And uh, dispensers aren't necessarily known for their accuracy, but this is still kind of effective. Uh, it's most accurate at point blank range, it's kind of like a shotgun. So, um, yeah, it's going through a lot of arrows really quickly. So, uh, use the hat to stop shooting, and let's go see how many it fired in that short little period of time. Um, already two stacks so uh, two stacks of 64 arrows and 23 so that's a lot of arrows and then you can just go over to reload it um, so next up is uh, this is a machine gun this will be an artillery gun it's because it fires TNT it's a TNT cannon so you'll need more redstone repeaters this time uh, three less than however long you want to make it You'll need two redstone torches, a water bucket, and, um, let me find it. I recommend using obsidian for this because it's TNT proof, but it doesn't matter what block you use as long as it uses redstone. Well, it supports redstone. And then get TNT. And once you've done that, go find a place to put it. I'm just going to look around here in this world. Ah, over here. So make uh, three wide and however long you want, as long as it can, um, the entire th bottom is covered by water. So then just close that tub, and this next part's entirely optional. I just like to do it to make it kind of feel more complete, and if there is a misfire, the uh, bottom won't be destroyed. Misfires do happen, and so make the bottom, I hate when that happens, I need to go here, I'm going to go creative mode and break that. Alrighty, so now that we've got this tub here of TNT, we'll can uh, obsidian place the water there, and put two more blocks of obsidian right there. Oh yeah, and you need a button. Sorry about that. So now place redstone repeaters. Go um, one away from the edge and place a redstone repeater on maximum delay. You know what? That sheep is really annoying me. Um, just place redstone repeaters until two until the end. Then place one last obsidian block. That's all the obsidian you'll need and place a redstone torch. Then place another redstone torch right there. And so the other should burn out. Then wire this side with just redstone. Oops. And now um, go back here, place the button, and test fire. That redstone should flare up, the torch should flare up briefly. Good, everything's working properly. Now to load it, just fill up this bay. Don't destroy the water block. And place one TNT right there. Push the button. And that TNT is active, the other TNT is active, 
and it fires and creates light damage. Hmm. And the beauty about this is you can, um, because TNT is affected by the um, blast force, you can increase or decrease that. So I'm just going to decrease that by one TNT. Huh. I wonder what's wrong. This shouldn't shoot that close. Um, hmm. Oh, this it might help if all the redstone repeaters were set on full. And so uh, what these will do is, because um, TNT has the detonation time of fuse of four seconds, um, the redstone repeaters will make it so that the projectile TNT will become armed later and thus have more time to fly. That's much better. Okay, so how this cannon works is inside this we have the propellant, and that is ignited by the redstone wires. So um, then the projectile up here, which is ignited by that redstone torch, is blasted forward because TNT is affected by gravity, and it explodes. Um, this water basin in here is to prevent the um, TNT used in the propellant from blowing up all your redstone. Uh, it's a little bit more impractical because it's not really useful in survival mode, but it's just fun. So here we have um, the redstone energy is being held by the repeater, and it's pretty stable. The dispenser is not shooting because it had the on moment applied to it. But when you turn it on, create the redstone loop, um, you get an on-off, 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 on-off sequence because the torches are continually burning themselves out once power is applied because they're connected in this certain way. And, um, yeah, that's how uh, this uh, redstone pulsar works. It's got a variety of uses. The redstone repeater up here, I don't know why it's there. It just doesn't work without it. And it doesn't matter what the setting is. Um, it'll make no difference in how fast it shoots. So, um, yeah, as you can see there, it's the last setting. So thanks for watching my Minecraft tutorial. Uh, hopefully soon we'll be up well, more will be up soon, and uh, thanks for watching.